Artwork, critiques, Photoshop files, and reference sheets are all available on my Patreon. Well, hello there, guys and girls. My name's Mikey. Welcome back to my room. It's time for another tutorial. And today we're going to be taking a look at expressions for our anime and manga characters. Although what we're going to be talking about are the key elements to the face which actually give off a certain element of emotion. So this will probably work for most forms of cartoon and design. And seeing as there are so many subtle nuances to expressive characters. Really, I thought we could just focus on some happy smiling stuff right now. Then in a different lesson, we can do sad, angry, ahego, all sorts of other things further down the line. So right now, I'm just in a tiny bit of time lapse just to sketch out some basic head shapes. And I have an entire tutorial on the building blocks of the head and how to map those features. Link is on screen at the moment, just so that we're ready to go. So, hi, if you're working along at home and pause for video just to draw out your own faces, I've been doing this on a number of sheets of super cheap printer paper to give me a slightly softer surface. Super cheap disposable mechanical HB pencil as well. And I've got a scrap of paper here to rest my hands on so that I don't smush up the uh, work that we've already done on the page. So let's just go over here, start off with a fairly simple relatively neutral smiling face. Now, um, when a face is kind of happy and smiling, it tends to be relatively open. The eyebrows tend to be a bit higher, etc. And the eyes are relatively open, but not so wide that they look like they're kind of shocked or scared or anything. So I'm going to go to my brow line here. I'm going to work a little bit underneath and just build up very, very lightly a bit of an eye shape. I'm going to kind of come in from on edge up here, sweep myself around, come back down, over here. And what I'm doing is a vague line to indicate the lid of the eye. I can always bring this a bit higher and lower by indicating how much uh, eyelash there's going to be and building it upwards or building it downwards. But let's just start off with a little guide. And I'm going to come down the outside edge as well, keeping things nice and open. So this line is going down more than it's sweeping in. And I'm thinking very loosely of a kind of almond shape here where one point's a bit lower and the outside point's a bit higher, but I'm not actually drawing in the bottom of the eye. I'm just starting to slowly sweep and map in this shape. Then I'm going to go over here to the other side, not quite as close to the center line because uh, this part of the face is a bit more opened out towards us. So I'm going to come up here, sweep in from the inside, just start to come up here and then think about where it's flattening a little bit over here and sweeping down a slightly longer edge than we've got here. I'm still going the same amount of height for each eye, but when one eye is a bit further away on a head that's slightly turned away from us, this one's going to be a little bit squeezed in and thinner. This will be doing the same sort of thing, but just a little bit wider and sweeping down to the outside edge a bit more. And then I'm just going to come down here, bring in that shape. And what I will be doing after we've done all of the basic building blocks, which give us the overall emotion from the face, uh, is I'll go into time lapse and I'll actually kind of fill it in a bit more. But let's do those key points that bring out that smiling expression. As for the eye itself, I don't want to show too much of the whites of the eye above or below the iris. So I'm going to come into a fairly anime, fairly uh, elliptical shape, just sweeping down like so, where the top is going under the top part of the eyelid. We're seeing a bit of a curve of the side, but it's also flattening out as well, just here. And then let's do a similar thing around about here. As ever, because I'm trying to be as quick as possible, this might not be the world's most perfect drawing, but as long as it gives you an idea of a certain emotion, that's what we're aiming for today. So I'm showing in the curves of the iris elliptical shape here. You'll notice it's much taller than it is wide for this example. I'm just going to erase ever so slightly off the bottom there to make sure these edges line up, working nice and softly. And what's happening is that because we're flattening the iris at the bottom here, we're indicating where the bottom of the eye is without actually putting in some extra hard lines, which would pull it away from the style that we're actually aiming for. So I could just go in and ever so slightly thicken up this zone. I'm not going to perfectly put in where the lashes are right now, but I'm just going to extend the thickness just on this edge and just on this edge for now. Let's get a little bit of a lash poke going there. And then I'm fattening the shape all the way up as we go out here. And then a little bit of pupil shape just for bottom part in there and in here. And then maybe I'm just going to put a little generous circle in here for a bit of reflected light 
just like so. So we've got a relatively open neutral eye. It's not too squinty and there's uh, not too much whites of the eye above or below anything. Just looking towards us, everything's happy so far. Sweeping up, let's just get another line for the hood of the eye, just above the eye here. Just touching up on that brow line. And as I mentioned, now I'm going to sweep nice and high to create an open expression. Let's just pop around about here, an eyebrow like so, and an eyebrow like so. So it's kind of dipping around a little bit, but because they're nice and high, it doesn't look furious. It doesn't look like it's scrunching together in anger or doubt or dismay. It's just popping up nice and gently here. I'm just gonna thicken it out at the front, just cause I like to do eyebrows like that from time to time. Just like so. And then maybe just a, a little kind of divot shape here to just show where the underside of a bone of a brow is just kind of curving into the eye. You don't have to worry about this too much, but it's just a little marker to map a bit of a face. And there already we've got this open expression. And you'll notice that I haven't drawn the nose, we haven't even drawn the mouth yet, but we're already getting a feeling of open expression from this character just by the shape of the eyes and the distance up to the eyebrows. And this is where a lot of the magic is going to be happening. So I'm just going to put in a very vague shape here to kind of indicate a nose with a little bit of a plain line that might be catching side light, just like so. And then let's have that neutral smile. I'm not going to go too wide. It's not an aggressive smile. It's just like a slightly pleasant, relatively passive smile, just up like this and up like that. So I'm going to make it a little bit firmer on the outside edge there and here, thinner towards the middle. I'm not going to let that line go too far. A relatively small, gentle smile, not too much energy in it. Just a passive looking at us smiling because smiling is kind of what you do. I'm just going to get a lighter zone in the bottom of the iris here. I can't help myself sometimes. And then let's just get some darker bits here and here. But I'll come back to that when we actually do a bit of time lapse. So we've got our basic smile already. We've got the features sitting in the business. Let's get a little bit more aggressive this time with the smile. Let's have a grin. And in this instance, I've drawn the head tilted back or at least our viewpoint's a little bit lower, and that's going to change the overall energy of this as well. Just angling and tilting the head with the character's emotion, you're entering into the world of body language, which is fantastic, and we'll be talking a lot about that in the future as well. So with this one, with a lower eye line, I'm going to actually just sketch him another little guide here. When I personally do tilted angle heads, I like tilts, I like angles because it's more interesting. Um, but I have to kind of guide myself, otherwise the eyes get really wonky. One's always higher than the other. And in a very similar vein, I'm just going to think about the outside top edge of this eye coming in and looking down towards us a little bit. So I'm just going to come up here and then start to sweep out towards the top there in a curve that then kind of travels just along a little bit underneath that brow line before gently sweeping down and in towards the middle just like so. I'm just going to curve back in on this edge and just sweep in there just to lightly indicate. And then over on this side, you'll notice I'm lightly indicating one eye, lightly indicating the other before I come back and really firm either of them into place. And then on this side, I'm just going to start from about here and then just start to sweep up a little bit here and then just come out and around, occupying a slightly wider space with this one before coming back down on this side and sweeping back in just like so. So just a little bit there, just around a little bit there. And then these eyes are going to be looking a bit more down towards us. So I'm going to pull away from this elliptical shape, start to make them ever so slightly more circular so that A, they can kind of drop down towards us and allow us to get a bit more of a white of the eyes appearing over the top. Now I'm still going to make them relatively large and generous something like so it's going to sit about here and then something like so is just going to sit about here so these eyes are really staring down at us uh, they're not afraid of us because uh, they're not shocked open that they're quite boldly open let's get a little bit of hood here and here and then let's think about the eyebrows on this one 
Now, we could have an aggressive Grin. Not necessarily dangerous, but say uh, this character's happy, but maybe we're not. Maybe they've just mugged us. Maybe they've just pickpocketed us, thrown apples at us. Uh, they feel like they're in a good position of control, uh, even if they're only just having a laugh with things. They're very proud of what they're up to. So I'm going to just go below this line and pop a really quick nose shape in. Just about there. I'm going to keep it small and very high up to show the tilt of the head. Something just like that. Keep it very, very cute. And then with your eyebrows, I'm not going quite so high up this time. And I'm probably going to give them a relatively neutral, slight sweep into a dip. So it's relatively straight along the brow line. But just a little bit. In fact, do you know what? And by the way, this is very interesting. Immediately, I know they're just a little bit too high up. Because the moment I started putting them in, the expression and the eyebrows were just a bit too high. It made it just feel a little bit too vulnerable. So let's just come in again and just bring it down a little bit more towards the cross in the middle of our brow line, like so. Now they might look angry, but the grin is going to help take the energy out of those angry eyebrows in just a bit. So let's come down here like so, and then let's come in with a nice generous shape. Now, because we're kind of looking a little bit up towards things, I'm going to have the mouth shape up a little bit in this composition, give plenty of space around the bottom of the chin, even if I'm going to just have a fairly abstract, great big grinning situation. So I'm going to sweep right up to here, just like so. <laughs> That's kind of the noise that I'm imagining in my head. And oh, by the way, one thing I would strongly recommend to anybody who is designing their characters and wants to give them loads of interesting expressions, grab yourself a mirror, grab yourself a mirror, look at your own face, make loads of expressions into the mirror. And uh, the more facial expressions you do in the mirror, the more you're going to feel the muscles that you're using in your own face, the more normal it's going to feel to draw them into place. And if you do it in public, just stare into a mirror and make loads of faces, you'll probably find that people leave you alone more often as well. So it's all good. So now I've got that big grin shape. I've just put in the edge of the teeth grinning together, only showing a little bit of a line of the teeth as they're actually connecting. There's suddenly a load of energy into this. Now you'll notice that when you get big smiles and big grins, you're squeezing up the cheek so you can be more generous with the bumps around the size. And also just squeeze a little bit up into the eye, just around about here and so, just to show the muscles of the face is all contracting up around about here. So let's go in again. I'm just going to very lightly come around this edge and just thicken it up again. Just around this outside edge. Hopefully this is dark enough that you guys can all see what's going on. I am working relatively lightly because you do want to be quite careful around the features of your characters because moving a line just a few millimeters in one way or another when it comes to the eyebrows and the shape of the eyes can often change the overall feeling and the expression. So I'm just trying to loosely capture what we're after so far. Let's come around about here and then kind of a similar thing. I'm just going to pop in some reflective circles in the irises first. And we've got some nice big generous pupils in there. Some lighter bits down the bottom perhaps. And then just a little line to differentiate between which part of the iris is catching a bit more light and so on. Slightly just going to firm up the eyebrow, just there and just there. Maybe even a squeeze on the brow, just with a little indicator there. So now this character is looking down on us just like, <laughs> they've achieved something, but they're looking pretty happy with themselves at the same time. Just about, just about. So let's move on and go into um, something a little bit different, a character when their eyes are closed, but they're also feeling quite pleased with themselves, not necessarily smug. Maybe this is a, a demure character who's just been receiving a compliment. So their head is either neutral or tilted ever so slightly down. And we're just gonna think about that closed eye look, along with another smile as well. Now for this, the eyes when they're closed are kind of going towards the bottom part of their zone. I'm giving myself just another guideline to do that with. Just around about there. And I'm thinking about a slight bump shape, just like this. It's not a flat line. It's more of a very 
If you imagine a plate that's just the wrong way up, it's just a slight little divot like that. And then I'm going to go put another one over here. And you can make this relatively thick, not just a straight line, because all of the eyelashes and bits are all coming together to create this shape. And they're all kind of popping and poking out at the edges, so they don't have to be perfectly clean at either end either, which is great because I'm very loosely sketching this all in as quickly as possible. I'm still going a little bit thicker towards the end of the eyelash just to show the longer extended parts, or maybe these characters have just painted on some wings and so on on the tips. And then just coming back around the other side, maybe a little bit jagged on the inside edge here again before we just come up and around back out here a little bit more, just like so. And then just maybe a couple lines down here to indicate the squeeze around the cheeks. Just above, I'm going to put another just little fold line to show the folds of the eyelid themselves even though the actual kind of top of the eyelid shape of this character might be all the way up here somewhere. So some very light lines just to kind of indicate that closed eye zone. And then maybe again, I'm just going to put in the odd shape to indicate where things are into the brow for me just here. In fact, I might put that back in here as well. Just a few more lines to add a bit more energy into the zone there. And going back to this one immediately, let's think about uh, the eyebrows on this one. Very pleased character, very sweet, very open face. Eyebrows are going to be relatively high, so somewhere about here compared to the closed eyes. But this one I'm going to make very neutral. I'm going to have these brows coming in relatively flat, if not tilted, ever so slightly up towards the middle. So let's come in there, just sweeping up just like so, just tilting up at the very last point as we go in here and also here. Just coming down as we come to the outside. I think I've made this one just a little bit higher than the other. So let's just go in, work lightly so it's easier to erase, move things around. Sweep back down as such. And then just to give them a little indicator of the nose, I can be a little bit lower where I just pop that nose line now because the head is a bit more towards us, a bit more tilted down. Let's just get a little bit of a shallow line, just giving it some form. And then in this one, similar to this, very simple smile, but I'm going to go just a touch wider, right in the middle of the gap between the bottom of the nose to the chin, just like so. A little bit firmer towards the outside edges again. And now I'm just going to put some lines which go almost at a T-junction to the sweep of the smile, ever so slightly here, ever so slightly here, just to indicate where the smile's eating into the cheek a little bit and just making it a tiny bit cuter as well. So now we've got a character that's fairly happy with themselves. You could put in some very, very light blush lines. just to show that they're all pretty pleased. So uh, we've got a very neutral kind of smiling face. We've got an aggressive grinning face and we've got a kind of pleased kind of cute smiling face again over here. So let's keep up with this kind of closed eyes, maybe receiving compliments or just feeling pleased with themselves. But let's open up the mouth and then see what happens and what that does to their expression. So I'm going to take these kind of closed eyes vibe over here, just sweep in Another line for myself here that's just going to indicate where I'm dropping things. But now we're just going to dial this up a little bit. And I'm going to do that by increasing the amount of bump we've got here. So with these closed eyes, that bump is even stronger now. I'm actually sweeping up, shooting down and in, giving a bit more of a, a fox kind of shape to the situation. Just like so, up and down, a bit of a thinner width with this side and now I'm really just hooking in here and hooking in here. Now we can go to real extremes when it comes to anime expressions as we go along and we will do some more uh, really extended anime expressions in a different tutorial um, that really kind of puts it into its own genre and pulls it away from other cartoons and illustration but for now let's keep things fairly within the realm of the character's 
face is just kind of changing to express ex to express emotions. I do apologize. Um, as opposed to big bold shapes and other symbols and wiggly lines and things that sort of drop in on top. So I've gone with much more of a bump and a ridge. Let's come in and just sweep out a little bit of eyelash shape coming off of here. Coming off of here. I'm going to put in some more eyelashes for everyone and all this other stuff in a minute. But this is our great kind of way to guide ourselves in to start off. I'm going to have the wrinkle of the eyelid just up and around here and here. And then going right up to our brow line, I'm just going to show where we've got just this shape where the curve of the eyebrow comes down in and starts to sweep down for the nose just down there. I'm just going to have a few more lines here to show the surface of the cheek is squeezing up and in against these eyes here. It's just actually the plane of the cheek squeezing up against the bottom part of the eye. And then over up here, we're just going to think about these eyebrows. I'm going to bring these ones up like these, but now I'm going to sweep even more upwards towards the middle. We're just kind of pushing what's happening here and extending it all a bit more. So I'm going to have one eyebrow that comes all the way up like so. These are very generously high up. I could probably bring that down a touch, but I'm not gonna. Now, this will just really accentuate it. So let's go back down here as well. I nearly considered erasing that and I thought, no, 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 let's go with this. Sweep down on this side here, just like so. And then I might just have a line that kind of shows it's gonna eventually sweep down here. Let's get some curve for the nose. So I'm just coming down in towards the middle for this character here. I'm just gonna very gently sweep out here and pop in this shape shadow line or a light highlight catching line just to show the curve of the surface coming away and then instead of just a gentle closed smile for this one we can have more of an open mouth so i'm actually just going to go ahead and start from the top near the nose this time relatively high up and i'm just going to make this just a very kind of simple shape we're going to curve a little bit just on the inside edge here and sweep down into a gentle curving v shape just there just like so. You'll notice this line is relatively straight while this one curves all the way around. We're still loosely describing the shapes of the mouth when we're looking at a slight angle. And then what you can do is just put in a great big circle where you only see the edges or an elliptical shape for the tongue. So I'm just gonna curve up here, curve up there. These gaps are going to be dark. So this character is just like, oh, ho, 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 thank you very much. And obviously all of this particular zone is going to be hair and other stuff as well. So I might just kind of pop just a little bit up here. Just to indicate the top of the eyelids. Maybe just on that side. But that again is giving us a very happy expression. You almost want to put these ha, ha, ha kind of lines and things like that going on as well. But we don't need to worry about those just as of yet. So let's have another go at a couple more. Another happy character, also kind of laughing away. Let's go ahead and bring the brows back down a little bit and also just kind of take a look at a kind of a laughing, smiling face when they're kind of maybe in the middle of talking or just being very happy in general. Because a lot of these aren't going to be still images. When you're adding expressions to your anime and manga characters, it's going to help a lot when you're actually getting into story design and trying to tell a narrative and express emotions and feelings. So we can catch all these kind of candid micro moments where the mouth's doing all sorts of interesting things. So this is just going to be another standard smile, but let's catch it from a different angle and start including some teeth. So let's just go once more. I'm just going to bring in an eye line for my characters vaguely here, and I'm just going to pop in this kind of upside down V here and this kind of upside down V here, just so that I've got an idea what's going on and where. I'm gonna very loosely thicken this out for a little second, just like so. Let myself catch an eyelash popping off of there and just a little something as we sweep here that pops off of there while still thickening down and out towards the edge. Quick line above, just like that. And I'm just gonna let that 
have an edge to the top of the eyelid, sweeping up here, going up into the brow. And then up here, I might just have a bit of a low nose line coming down already, just so that I can start to split these areas and these spaces. Let's go up here, because we've got our eyelid. Change of surface direction just there as we go up into the brow. Bringing a shape a little bit down there as well. I'm still just going to put a little bit of lines just around here, just a little something, just to kind of squeeze it up and indicate that something's changing around there. So I'm just going to come back in and pop a nose in this time. Just get that out of the way. And then with the eyebrows, I'm going to start to bring them down a little bit more, a little bit like this, but still relatively high. I'm going to start from the inside edge this time. And I'm just going to have a line that sweeps up and round like here. So it's curving relatively generously, but this eyebrow shape is going to take up a lot of that shape. So just like so. And then another one just inside of here. And I'm just going to pop up like so. Much thicker on the inside edge. This line I've just evened out a little bit towards the edge. Not quite so curving up and down, but it gives us an idea here. And if I want maybe just a little bit of tuck, let's just come in with this line. I'm going to bring this one in a little bit further. Just like so and just like so. And because I'm working light, I can make all of these adjustments. You've got the idea of what you want from the character. But keep looking at it, just see what needs nudging, just see what might need moving or erasing and addressing. Catch it whenever you can. And let's have a nice smiling face uh, where we've got a nice open mouth grin. Now I'm going to keep the mouth uh, relatively along the nose line sweeping down here. I'm going to use that as my outside edge and then just come up and inside. So let's come around like so. <laughs> Now, I'm not, I'm not crazy, but honestly, in your head, you're going to keep making these noises. Certain characters, certain facial expressions have certain noises that you might be used to hearing with them. <laughs> and just honestly, keep having it in your head. If you're drawing smiling characters, have a big smile on your face. It's actually going to help with putting all of this together. So let's sweep up and around like so. Relatively straight line with a bit of curve just over the top there. Coming down for another relatively straight line just here before we sweep into a generous curve all the way around there. And I'm going to start with the top teeth. Because of the angle, I'm actually going to hook in a little bit to show like the back molars near the top. Nothing too crazy. Just coming around the top like so. There we go. And in a similar way, just have this curving shape for your tongue. I'm just going to sweep a tongue line, an oval that comes down and around here. And then again, I'm just going to drop all of this into something darker for the inside of the mouth. Just like that. I could still have a little bit of squeeze here if I wanted for the cheek, just a little with a more open mouth. And if I wanted as well, another line that's also squeezing in at the bottom here under our closed eyes, just to show everything squeezing together in this nice happy expression. So there we've got another one, just changing shape a little bit as we come down here. I'm probably just gonna come in along this cheek line and probably pull this a little bit further in so I can sweep down and get a firmer point to the jaw just there. Let's just bring that all in just a little bit. And that gives us our idea for that one. So let's have a quick look at one more. I want another happy uh, character with a nice open facial expression. But this time, maybe they're saying hi. Maybe they're calling out to us. So um, head tilted up, open wide expression, wider eyes, and a nice big open mouth once more. And let's see what's going on here. So if this is my brow line, I'm going to start once again just a little bit lower for the eyes. These eyes are going to be nice and wide and open. We're going to come back to a slightly more elliptical shape, a little bit taller for the irises um, than they are. And we're going to show a little bit more of them as well. We're probably not going to go all the way around them, but we're going to cut off less of the top and bottom just to show that they're filling most of the eye space. But I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm just coming around myself with my own head to try to tilt myself in line with this particular picture. And I'm just going to come up along here just like so, sweeping up from the outside edge. Then I'm just coming down 
on the inside here. And I'm going to be very shallow and generous when I sweep down the outside edge as well. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Let's just come in a little bit here on the inside edge and then just sweep round and down a bit more widely and generously towards the outside like so, curving that down and then catching the lower outer edges of where things are darker and there's more lashes and so on. And then now let's just get these larger elliptical shapes. And I'm pretty much completing the ellipse. I'm coming all the way down. I've got the curve at the bottom, the curve at the top. The curve at the top is meeting right in there. So I don't want any whites of the eye above here. And then I'm going to do a similar thing here. In fact, I think I've managed to curve this at a weird angle. So bear with, let me just come around and just tuck that in a little bit more. Just like so, there we go. Curving all the way around. And then over on this one as well, I'm just going to start up here. Curve in. And then curve up and around of our elliptical shapes. Tucking at the top, tucking at the bottom. And then at the very bottom, I'm not going to flatten it as so much as I'm just going to firm the line right there and right here to indicate that the bottom of the iris is meeting right at the bottom of the eye, even though we can see pretty much the overall form. So let me just come in again and just do a slight, big of, slight bit of eyelash thickening up around the top. You'll notice that I'm always thickening these eyelashes towards the upper outside part of the curve, but I'm not really doing it so much towards the inside edge, um, even though we do have plenty of opportunity to do so and throw in all these pointy lashy shapes. This is what I'll be doing when I just drop into time lapse in a sec, then curving around the outside edge over here as well. Let's pop out before we sweep back in and then nice big uh, circular reflections. Just going to pop those in there. Nice big open pupils inside of there. They don't need to be small. This is a nice, happy, open anime expression, just like so. Maybe a lighter area to the iris just down here. And then a bisecting line through the middle for our lighter and darker contrast. And then let's go back up here. So these are open eyes that meet right up towards the top of the hood of the eyelid where everything meets in. So just there and just there. And then maybe up near my actual brow cross line, I'm just going to have a little bit of shape here and here. I like these ovals just to indicate for me just the under edge as we go into the brow line itself. It just kind of helps map the face for me. And then some nice high open eyebrows once more. Hello, she's going to be shouting towards us. Hello. So let's go right open. Just like so. And then I'm just going to sweep that into a little bit more of a thick eyebrow shape. Just there. And then this one as well, I'm just going to bring that in. Pull that curve round and dipping just into there. Just like so. And then let's get a nose that's popping down around the middle and doesn't need to be much, just a line that's going to have a bump just there. Just a bit of bump to indicate. And then just a little bit of curve around to build on that. And then a nice big open mouth. So. We've been coming in from the underside of this one from our viewpoint. This edge has been a little bit flatter. So with this one, we're looking kind of a bit more face on, a bit more from the top. We're going to curve around like this. Just so we're getting that kind of shape. And then we're going to kind of still have our generous uh, kind of V hooping shape down here. So I'm just going to start to bring this around not coming too close to the chin, but occupying a lot of the space around here. Coming back up like so. Let's try to avoid any wobble with that line and just sweep that in. And then I'm going to have a curve that goes the other way to this inside for the teeth. So let's pop down here, have a downward curve for that teeth. Just about there. And then I can do another generous circle, filling up most of the space or a generous elliptical edge. 
there's our tongue and the rest I'm just going to very lightly pop back into shade and boom just like that we've got a character who's kind of hello hey just yelling out towards us so guys I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of some examples we can do when we're having our anime and manga characters with some happy smiling uh, variations of expression uh, there's so many expressions as I mentioned we're going to cover um, all of them in some future tutorials so let's get a few of these bad boys out of the way now I'm just going to firm up all of these lines we'll have a little bit of recap and I'll see you guys in just a minute And welcome back. So hopefully guys, now that we've firmed up all of these faces, it gives you a bit of an idea of what's going on and some different ways we can have our characters in a good mood, smiling, happy, laughing, just communicating a very open expression. And you kind of want to remember that there's a certain amount of plasticity in the human face. If things are very happy, the eyebrows are raising up, the eyes are opening up, the mouth is open, the face itself, although we have our set construction, is still going to get longer and just take up a bit more of a vertical amount of space. The features are all opening up and again play around a lot of different expressions in the mirror i strongly recommend it and then if things are going to get a bit more aggressive and angry and closed then you might just find when we shift the expression we're still having this grinning character but now we've brought the brows down uh, the eyes are squeezing in the mouth is opening up so that the cheeks are kind of bunching a bit more we're squeezing down a little bit we're going a little bit wider we're starting to accentuate curves of the cheek and so on and one other thing i just want to show you let's start up here all of this action all of this expression is coming from the eyes eyebrows and mouth so if i take a look at this character i could go right in here rub out the nose erase that right now and although this character is now noseless we're still getting the same amount of emotion and expression we've basically just turned him into krillin so basically if we go over here and do the same here we're still getting that open amount of expression. So what I would certainly recommend that you guys do is just have a go at home and work through loads and loads of different faces. Just get used to shaping up the eyes and the mouths to express all of these different emotions. We will, of course, be doing many more in the future for other different emotional states for characters, taking a look at variations of sad and angry and so on. But if you want to grab this particular copy, I'll put the noses back on and scan it in for our tutorials reference pack, which, of course, you can grab on Patreon for just a dollar. And that's that's how I'm able to make everything for free for you guys on YouTube. So thank you for the support. And of course, a great big shout out to Hamongchi L, Danny S, Traylon B, Nathan, Dan, Mumble45, Silent Lumberjack, Justin Toe, Colin F, Obsidian, and Sano Black. You guys, thank you so much for all of that support. And anybody else, if you're remotely interested, links, of course, in the description below. But other than that, thank you very much for watching along, guys. I hope your own artwork is going bloody well, and I will see you next time. Take care.